Hello, welcome to Fake News Show. I'm your host, Frank Donga. You know how we do it on this show. This is where we talk about fake news or misinformation and disinformation. How to identify it, where, where does it affect you, how does it affect me and you, the nation, all of us. How can you spot it, report it, how can you avoid it. All those kind of things. We have those information for you. And that information is Iboku here. That's what we're going to be doing it on this show. So fax in your sixth belt and join us on this journey. Not go anywhere. We are coming back after this break. Let's go. Welcome back, guys. It's fake news show, and you know how we do it on this show. We're going to be talking about how fake news, you know, interacts or is affected or affects uh, print and broadcast industry or broadcast media. Right from 1933, I'll tell you some G's so you don't know before. You don't know, say, now 1933, radio was first introduced into Nigeria. At that time, you know, there at that time, you know if you know, because they used to play BBC on top of speaker around like that. Then radio fusion, or uh, no, no, as a radio diffusion service, RDS, it later evolved to become the Federal Radio uh, Service of Nigeria, or Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria, rather, excuse me. Now, from that time, all right, may I read it for you? From that time, radio began to increase in Nigeria. More people begin to have private TV stations, up to say 77.4% of people, according to particular research done in 2015 by the broadcast. Uh, Board of Governors in America, they realized that 77.4% of people in Nigeria listen to radio. Almost everybody, they listen to radio. And out of every 10 people, seven of those people that they ask questions always listen to radio to get news. In fact, the media, according to medialandscape.org, that's on that website, they noticed that in 2002, that 30% of people in Nigeria had television sets at home. Only 30% of us so. As economy come, you know, come better now, people begin the own hustle, begin to make money, life begin to do better, things begin to move. For example, in 2002 to 2004, 32% of people begin to have TV at home by 2021. Cable TV, cable TV, cable, you understand? 4.9 million people are expected to have cable TV in their house by 2021. We have a special guest that's going to be talking to us on broadcast, regulation of broadcast and fake news in Nigeria. When we we'll come back from this break, I will tell you, man, I'm going to go on a short break. You get something well, I won't show you. When we we'll come back, you go know as it could be. Because we need to go on the street and find out what people are saying about one or two matters. More go on the street. Anything lies, it doesn't last for a very long time. At the end of it, there will be a revelation. For example, now, our government are even the one telling, I mean, giving us fake news than even the individual. Like issue of insecurity, you know that already is a, something that is going on. So anybody who is saying something about insecurity, if you now look at recent happenings, you will believe that, yes. So at times fake news, anyone that is convincing. If you, if you hear any fake news, what are from media? Try on your own to do background check. Try to confirm from others. <laughs> That was on the street, so we are back from the street now. You see, where people they talk, so um, <laughs> Matt, I do. what's your own thought about it? You agree, I mean, you know, agree. What are you saying, you in particular? You know, what are you saying about those topics? You want to share your thoughts with us? Get, get in touch, join in the conversation, lend your voice to this issue of misinformation, disinformation, or fake news. How? On social media now, at CDD West Africa, tag us, send us DM, or use the hashtag stuff fake news, or you can use the hashtag fake news show. You can even tag me at frangdonga underscore. Let's talk about it. You have an experience you want to share with us. On this episode, like we told you, we're going to be discussing fake news and broadcast media. Or even print media. We can involve print media. So now, in Nigeria, sometimes the only time we hear about regulatory authority is when they ban something. They ban, ban this one, ban that one. No. They ban it from public consumption. All this ban, 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 ban. Every time. Not every time. 
What is happening? Gong gong kilo shell, gong 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 kilo shell. Okay, now more reason one or two things. Who is regulating broadcast media? Who is regulating all these who? all these agencies where we say they put information out? Who is responsible? How people they take collect license self to become TV station or radio station? How many TV and radio stations do we even have in Nigeria are gone now? Where are they? What, what if somebody wants to collect like all this issue? More will clear once and for all. You know what we are talking to? We are talking to National Broadcasting Commission, NBC. We are talking to them on this show. That's what we are going to do. Let's take a short break. When we come back, we have to go to Let's Talk. That's the segment where we talk to people. We have the Director for Public Affairs from NBC, Franca Ayeton. She's going to be talking to us about regulation of broadcast industry in Nigeria. And everything we want to ask, do they have anything to do with it? How do they even regulate all these fake news and all the news? Take a short break. When we come back, we'll continue. You not go anywhere. Oh. Fake news show is right back. Welcome back, guys. It's fake news show. And you know how we do it on this show. This is a segment where we do Let's Talk. Let's talk about what? Let's talk about the issue on ground. And what are we talking with? We promise you now. You know how they're doing now. Somebody big from the NBC. If you don't know NBC, you're not in broadcasting. We have with us the Director of Public Affairs from NBC, Mrs. Frank Ayeton. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You are looking good. Ah, now that one to flatter me. Thank you, Sha. <laughs> I did hear. How is NBC doing? We are National doing great. National Broadcasting Corporation, Abi. National Broadcasting Commission. I should Commission. sanction you for that. No, because, no if I'm not That's talking like that, so. if I'm not going to talk like that, I'm not going to say it wrong. Now, why ah, I tell them? fake so. news. See. You, you trust me. Uh, okay. Why yes. is NBC doing? We're doing great. Prepared you know. for implementation of uh, reforms. Hmm. At least I will have uh, a little extra in my pocket. Mm. You experience fake news. <laughs> you experience now, fake every day with the experience of our country here. So, now. what do you do? What, what's your role in making sure that fake news doesn't take Well, off? the mandate that we have, it's only when it's, on, it's, on, it's broadcast on, on, on radio or television that we have power to regulate it. Eh. Yes. When it is outside the purview of radio and, and, and television, like you go like on your phone now. now. So, you cannot do me anything if I you, something. Uh, <laughs> Government, they watch you, my brother, and make it they calculate the costs where they cost Nigerians. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. That's why you no good now. So, so tell them as it be. Okay. Anyone will no concern you, come out your mouth. Yes. Hey. Okay, okay. We are coming there, but. Uh, okay. <laughs> So, so what do you do if you find one of your children? By your children, I mean all these radio and TV stations. Over yeah. 700 and something. What do you call yes. them? Yes, 720. 720. Find one of these your children. Broadcast something that is against your code. I think you're on the sixth edition of the code Against now. the broadcasting code, not yeah. my code. And, uh, all of us. Your mama, uh, NBC now. All of us. Okay, all of us. Mm -hmm. What do you do? What steps do you take? You just ban them and then you throw people out of work. No, we don't ban. Mm -hmm. When you say ban, now it will be like, say, with the military government. Okay, what do you do? Uh -huh. We either warn you to take it out, but mm. fake news is a serious thing. Oh, na class A sanction be that. Class so A. So that one, na mm. penalty you go chop. Penalty as in you. What do you do to them? You, Tell us. you, they will, will sanction you now. Write you a letter. Say you have done this. Okay. It's against so so and so section of the code. Yes. Do you give me and a chance to defend myself and explain? If yes, if you can, you, you, we can, we can give you a chance to defend yourself. We may be lenient if it is a one. Uh, what do you call it now? First offender. Yes, if it's a if it's a, st a station that is usually uh, very compliant and it's a, it's a one off goof. So what's then the most penalty? I mean, what's the lowest to the highest penalty you can? Uh, two between two million and ten million. Eh? Now, yes. every, now fine, sha. Fine. No, be said. Um, DSS or Mopo or SAS go come carry the person for station, lock them up. No, fine. Go just go look for the money. If you know fit, you go you go shut your clothes shop. Did they give them time, Sha? Uh -uh. You go pay within 14 days of sanction. Oh, wow. Mm. 14 days of eh, But that's why we say make you no do fake news. It's only when you do fake news, now you go chop that fine. If you talk the truth thing, uh, what's the so many stations, they will never pay one fine before. Mm. Yes? Okay. Because no be, we say no like them now. But we say one make you the broadcast. I mean, you should do the right thing so that we can enjoy broadcasting. We can, you can entertain us, you can inform us, and you can educate. 
some of these fake news and misinformation happens, mm -hmm. and you can't, uh, we've had guests that told us that you know I ex they are experts in communication. I said a little bit of transparency will help. I want to do. Let's look at that one together. But mm -hmm. before we look at it, we will take a short break. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're still here on fake news. You have been talking to the director of public affairs, Mrs. Franka Yeton from the National Broadcasting Commission in Nigeria. We will take a short break, and we'll come back. <laughs> yes, we continue. Welcome back, guys. It's Fake News Show. And on this segment of Let's Talk, you know, before the break, we were talking about a lot of things, how to get a license, mm -hmm. how you regulate people that eh, maybe they make mistakes or they put mm -hmm. talk on. Wait, if people make mistakes, maybe broadcasting outfits or mm -hmm. organizations make mistakes and they apologize, you know, they forgive them. No, they forgive now. Okay, say now, Abba, sometimes we don't go even write you. Maybe just a call will do. That is a, for compliance stations. Mm. But there are some stations that are just heady mm. and are not, I mean, they will negate everything they signed while they, when they came for the for the license that uh, the principles of of truthfulness accuracy and uh, and uh, fairness and balance and all those mm -hmm, all mm -hmm. those uh, things that you signed for mm. everything that is broadcast on their station will negate all that mm. you can't allow that in the in the for for the good of society mm. you can't allow that to keep going on the only time we hear you people is mm -hmm. when you ban song or you ban music video <laughs> I I'm not saying anything. Oh, I'm just. I don't tell you. Say we don't ban them. I mean, you they play them for your music, for your for your parties. You play it in your bedrooms. You play it in your cars. We don't yeah. stop that. We only say that because um, for 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 reasons of uh, our moral, our social values, mm. and moral values of our society, in Nigeria. Mm. We don't want that in public purview. Okay. In the in public stations. This issue of transparency for government. Mm. Isn't there anything you can do or anything you can advocate for that? Because if people get information, for example, maybe their governor is traveling now, mm. they can ask information or they put the information out there. Mm. There won't be any need for the news to be fake in the first place. Too many too many secret secret things really happen for up there. Why? Mm. See, it is the one of the cardinal duties of broadcasters mm. to hold government agents to account accountability. Mm. Yes. I mean, it's your role. I mean, you stand as agents of society. You represent the people there. I pay tax. <laughs> you pay tax. Somebody does but not want to miss you. Uh, people have been missing you. They just be here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> leave that matter for Matthias. Ah, I mean, Matthias, don't go for every journalist. <laughs> so if you, if you read now, see, let's be, let's let's. I mean, certain person there mm. uh, three days ago, then mm. sack him from waiting. They do. Okay. Waiting happen. It's like his popularity is just going up that and up be. and up. Yeah. Abby. He, he so make them know you for something. Okay. Eh? All this fear, fear, then go sack me, then go sack me. Make them know me, say they carry me. Leave matter for matter, see. Ah. Okay. So do do the right thing. Let's do the right thing. If you want to hold, uh, find information about something, mm. put put the person on the spot. But if you Let invite Nigerians them and they don't respond, don't call. Okay, somebody, okay, contract come out now. One ta one, uh, maybe 20 kilometers road. They send a 30 billion. They take us and say, ah, we hear rumor. We, are we don't know. They won't, know. they won't tell us. These are the issues. We are broadcasters now. We know how to catch these people. Ah, ah. Yeah. Before hey. we became regulators, hey. some of us worked in broadcasting stations. You want to catch When them. you carry your microphone eh. and you chuck them for person mouth, maybe in an airport you catch them. Eh. Oh, God, we hear say, bam. You know, you know then that. mouth is gaping. Nigerians are You never see where security You have not detail. said anything. See how somebody backhand before. Uh, they go carry on the kill. How many Frank? <laughs> go and ask Frank Olise. <laughs> <laughs> I journalist, I watch this today. We don't agree. Is it possible that maybe one president or governor or somebody influential in government one mm. time at any time in the history of Nigeria, mm. maybe they just give you cause say that guy, mm. he they he they worry our party or our association collecting license. He'll not be one of us. No, it's not possible. You want to collect person license? Why? What you go say? Wait, which reason you will take give? Somebody that wants to catch uh, you. Uh, we never something. even collect anybody license. Mm, okay. We don't shut station down. Okay. We go find them. Say okay before you reopen, you, and then we must give reason. What thing you do? Oh, reason, reason not pass order from above. No wait. It, no, order from no. above. No, you can't say order from above. Uh, yeah. When book did there, when waiting you sign, say you go do did there. If you don't do them, if you don't follow us, then write them. Mm. As you say, agree, say you go do them. Then uh, uh, you run foul of the law. 
So if in the absence of what? that one, no other can from come from, from abroad no. above that. that NBC we just say eh, other can, cannot come from abroad except you are becoming a security risk. And security agencies say, I mean, this thing that is going on. For instance, when a station um, makes a montage of of security things happening, and it's now like you are promoting, you are hyping those who are enemies of Nigeria. Hmm. Yes, these people who are killing our people, and then you begin to, they are the ones you are promoting. Those who are fighting in defense of us, you, you begin to uh, antagonize them with your words and all that. Then you we begin to question what your role is. Yeah, but you are the one that say we should hold leadership to account. Maybe they are holding the, the, the defense leadership the to account. The other people too. No, they are holding the defense leadership to account. Say, see what these people are doing. Why are you not doing? Why are you not doing? This thing has happened again and people are dying. Yes, if you are bringing up what they are not doing right, mm. it's, you, you shouldn't be hyping it against what those other people are doing. I, I, do you understand? You are, mm. you are promoting the, the, the negative. Like, I have somebody who has been killed in insurgency. Mm -hmm. And then every day I open your station and you show me insurgents carrying those things. I mean, it's, it's terror to my heart, to my vision, to my, to my psychic. I, I so like play down on such things and then tell us what you think we're not doing right. How do you define the motive of somebody putting information out there as a journalist or a broadcaster? How do you now draw the line between the motive and how people misinterpret the simple truth or information? Uh, about the reasons why these people give us AIDS mm. in form of vaccines. Why don't you invite them to your studio and ask them and throw these questions to them and let them argue it out? Or the agents of government who re represent Nigerians when they collect these aids, ask them, what is, what is the need for Nigeria? Did you ask why are these, what is the interest of these people in Nigeria? Why are they giving us this? Yeah. So it, it will be trashed and Nigerians will reason through. So balanced. That, yes, yes, balanced. Balance. So broadcasters need to make sure that as much as possible, they balance. And balance, also they and they are responsible okay. for every word, for every information they put out there. As N much but as not the effect of the word, because if what if somebody, like I said, are you going to hold them responsible for somebody that decides to take that truth, which is just basic information, mm -hmm. and and misuse it to cause havoc? One, once in a while, you may you may you may just be, you may innocently put it out there, mm. but so, most of the time there's mischief. Yeah. There's mischief. And I, I say that as broadcasters and as agents of society, we should always ask ourselves, what is the need for the society? This, is this for common good of the people? Mm. So if the information that I'm going to throw out there, mm. because I want to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, I'm not saying you should lie, mm. but you can drop some of the details that may not be necessary to the truth. Responsible reporting. And Responsible. Reporting. Okay. That's the word. I wish we had common man like me now if I want TV station license or radio license that mm. is the pre only, only the president can sign. We recommend. We'll, we we'll, we'll do due, due diligence on you. And we'll recommend to president. So he's a broadcaster. There are other indices. The security people will check whether you don't think before. No. Uh -huh. You don't. You go tell them now. So if they say, ah, but this one way. But will they tell me the reason? Like this? Will they tell me the reason that this because of this distance this will not grant you? Well, I don't know if they will. Okay. But we do our recommendation, and we are usually very, very happy to recommend broadcasters because we want professionals there. We don't. It's broadcasting shouldn't be an all-comer game. Hmm. I, I will not just jump into law now and begin to practice law when I have no. I mean, I don't have the calling, I, I don't have the training, I don't, I don't know the rules and regulations. So if people are coming into our own domain too, they should follow procedure. Right. And uh, for us, it's, it, it makes our job easy when we have professionals in the field. I want title. So if the president don't like my face now? I know be about face. Wait, well, he know you. <laughs> now, wait him will try to say, this person qualified to. Then they will say, okay, make we check him. You go do Nigeria good. I'll be the station, uh, pirate station. I've been uh, this person, he the agent of some people, we no like Nigeria, then go we'll do oh, all this that. Person is not in our political they call party. it due diligence. They will conduct the due diligence. Yeah. No poli political party. No, they no put to go for my mouth. Eh, yeah, but you know, go no. Now be your it's not your responsibility to sign. No, I'm just no, I'm that's just, no, that one. No. You see, this is how no fake news. No, we are looking at reasons. That's why this we are balanced. We are on the left and on the right. So we are balancing it. Uh -huh. yeah, I thank God we don't balance now. I'm afraid you before you carry me and tag with you. <laughs> go, go home. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much, Mrs. Franga Ayeton. My pleasure. Thank you so very all the way much, from NPC. <laughs> that has been uh, Mrs. Franga Ayeton, the Director of Public Affairs from National Broadcasting Commission. 
and she's been telling us about uh, fake news, broadcasting, and the media, and all that, the things that, how NBC gets into all this. Join us for more after this break. Don't go anywhere. We have more coming for you on Fake News Show. Hang on tight. <laughs> Yes, fake news is something that is not genuine. I just want to tell you a few things, okay? Um, I need you all to please, please, please ask questions. Verify any information you get before you spread it. You need to resist that temptation of just hearing something and quickly spreading it out there. I know some of you want to do Nami first here, Nami first poster, that kind of thing, but you need to resist that urge. You need to ask questions, you need to be sure of information before you spread it out there because you could just be passing the wrong information that could cause more harm than good. This is Rugged Man, Rugged Baba, and I'm saying verify any information out there before you spread it. Welcome back, guys. That was uh, Mrs. Franka Ayeton from NBC in Nigeria. And she's been talking to us about how they regulate or how they give license to. Now, wow. It's in a president, they give person license for radio and TV station. I need, I need to know person. I'm not going to know person. So, fake news, dissemination, you have a right according to the sixth code of the broadcasting, no, the sixth edition of the broadcasting code or the broadcast code of Nigeria. You have a right to find out information, to report uh, any abnormality. That you notice all right so we're talking about fake news or misinformation or disinformation not carry fake news not carry fake gist this pro program is brought to you it's an initiative of cdd west africa center for democracy and development west africa with the support of usaid and the ndi so we're not going to bust one or two fake news for you where you take see by your eyes say some things they happen and we're going to dis demystify one or two things in this next report hang around don't go anywhere Better see the front. Check it out. CDD Fact Check Report. Fake news alert. Did Arawa youth threaten war if Yoruba don't dissolve Operation Amoteko? CDD is in possession of a video created by Simon Epa and posted on his Facebook. The newly created security outfit Operation Amoteko. The youth consultative forum has threatened to begin a war should the Yorubas refuse to dissolve. The news report quoted Yerima Shatima, the leader of Arewa Youth Congress. If after the 20th of January 2020, they don't dissolve that outfit, there will be war in this country. Operation Amoteko is the newly established security outfit launched by the five Southwest governors in Nigeria with the mandate to enhance the safety of the region against kidnapping, banditry, armed robbery and related crimes. Our checks on Simon Ekwa shows that he is a known supporter of the indigenous people of Biafra and has several videos aimed to misinform and disinform the public. The claim on Yerima Shatima has been seen by over 4,000 users on Facebook. Fact trackers contacted a member of the Arawa Youth Consultative Forum who referred to an interview granted by Yerima Shatima to the news agency of Nigeria and published by The Punch Online on 12th January 2020. In the published report, Mr. Shatima was quoted, Amoteko will promote community policing. The claim that the Arawa Youth Consultative Forum, through its leader, Yerima Shatima, threatened war should the Yorubas fail to dissolve Operation Amoteko by January 20th is false and should be disregarded. I see the hot nine will they give you so it's not a cash me. I see the hot. He had to verify information. If you're a journalist, if you're a blogger, if you're an influencer, he had to verify information. If you're an ordinary citizen, everybody involved for this matter. Because if the carry person just they switch you now. One of these days is gonna be your turn. How would you feel if wrong information is spread about you? You run an outfit, a media outfit. Do you verify? Do you do your job? Thank you for joining us on this episode of Fake News Show on behalf of the entire team, City of West Africa, USAID and MDI. But thank you. We get better episode for you next week. Oh. Tell your friend to tell their friend to tell their friend and tell your enemy. Everybody gather around. It's fake news show. Be responsible. Join the conversation. Stop fake news show. Hashtag stop fake news show. Stop fake news. Rather, hashtag, hashtag stop fake news. Or 
Hashtag fake news show. Not confuse me. I know what they talk now. I know what they talk now. Bye bye now today. Ah, now for you. Bye, they go my house. Join us again next time. All right. Thank you. Cheers. of Center for Democracy and Development with support from USAID through the National Democratic Institute.